Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to part two of the boat electrical system. I'm pretty pumped up today because I finally got it done. It's kind of been a long process, a lot of holes to drill, things like that, but it wasn't too bad. Let me show you what all I did here. All right, as you know, I did have the outlet put in in part one. I do have the cord going. You will need an adapter to hook up to a regular house outlet, 15 amp. I'll put that in the, in the description down below. I have it hooked up to the generator right now, so that's the noise you hear. All right, guys, and on the inside, I got a lot of wires going everywhere because I'm doing DC also at the same time. But let's get a little bit closer here. You can see my AC panel here. Let's see if I can zoom in. So right there is my Blue C AC panel. The very top one is the circuit breaker that you're supposed to test monthly. The next one is the main 30 amp power coming in. I did cabin outlets. I'll show you that one. I did battery charger. So what that is is another outlet I put in so I can charge my batteries. I am going to have an inverter in here. And I put in that 30 amp plug also for an air conditioner. So I added those two 30 amp plugs. Now you won't be able to charge the inverter and run an air conditioner wide open without flipping the breaker. On the back side here, zoom out. You can't see it, but I put a galvanic isolator so back there in the very back, there's the shore power coming in. It comes in from the back. It goes into the galvanic isolator, the ground does. And then that ground goes back to my panel here. So before going into my panel, I'm running the ground into a galvanic isolator. And what that does is if I'm hooked up to shore power, it prevents my boat from getting any grounds from any other boats. If you can see right here, I did put me a new post right here. This is where all my grounds are going. Off the AC panel, I did run a four gauge wire to my ground negative post of my boat that goes all the way out to my motor. So there in the background on the back side of here, there's a four gauge going from here up to there where my ground is going. So I have my AC grounded to my common DC. So what I did is I ran a two gauge wire, a two alt wire, excuse me, two zero, you know, zero, zero, two alt is going from that grounded post up here, right there. And it goes all the way around to the back of the boat. I ran this two gauge all the way around. And back here is the main grounding of the actual boat. So you can see right there, that's where the main motor grounds are. And there's the positive. So I ran that two alt back to here so I can ground everything. Cause not only do my, does my AC need to be grounded to the common, but also a lot of my DC components. You can see in here, let's see if I can get it, but right there, that's where all my things are grounded also. And the big, the big black wire right here that runs up to that post I just showed you. So that way everything's grounded. My AC and my DC all shares the ground. All right, and then on the outlets, what I did, I took all these doors off and stuff so I could fit up in here. So on the outlets, I have a, a GFC outlet right here with an outdoor weatherproof box. I mounted it up high and I came out of the hole. And what I'm gonna do there is have a strip surge that I'm gonna put probably up over here where I can charge all my components. I can hook up a coffee maker I'll have a bunch of outlets right here and to me this is a good spot right here where I can do a lot of charging phones batteries things like that and it won't be the way 
Now, what I did is I ran this 10 gauge anchor or anchor wire. I haven't sealed, I haven't got it all strapped up yet, but here's the wire right here. It's this 10 gauge wire. So I ran it from around there, ran it under, and I came out over here. This is my starter battery. It came with the boat. And what I did is I put a panel here. You can see another GFCI outlet. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to mount me a battery charger somewhere. And then I can charge up my two batteries and plug it in to this. So whenever I'm hooked up to shore power, it'll automatically charge my batteries. One thing guys, this panel does have a DC coming out of it and I'm clean I got to clean up all these wires I'm still running my DC fuse panel over here but there is what I did is I ran a yellow and a red over to the panel here and what that does is the little the little the words on the right side that say inverter and all that they light up at night so if you want to have that you don't really have to have it. it's just mainly aesthetic but if you want to see all your words at night then you run your wire around from the back, splice it in, and then over here on your fuse panel, you're gonna wanna run the red and, and the yellow, or the black, to the positive and negative, and then you'll have a two amp fuse. So I put the two amp fuse, run it over there, that way at night your panel will be lit up so you can see everything. That's not something you gotta have, but just an option if you wanna do it. All right, this has been part two of the electrical system. If you guys have any questions about anything, how I did it, how to hook it up, anything like that, just leave it down in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And next episode, we'll probably be doing the inverter, some kind of DC system. So please tune in for that.